There is a story of a young boy and his fiancée enjoying himself. And suddenly they saw a young man who was blind. Look at this young man and felt pity for him. He said, no, baby, this young man deserves pity. He said, no, please, let not give this young man money. But the fiancé refused. And he went to give this young man money. Immediately, the fiancé of this, this young man gave this blind guy money. Suddenly, the girl became blind. The girl became blind immediately. This guy was confused. His fiancée was confused. What is happening? How come? You were seeing at this point what happened. She said, I can't see again. I have lost my sight. People start coming from different angles asking what is the problem. The young man couldn't even explain. They started beating this blind boy. Harassing him and beating him. Until he told them to hold on. The only way for this lady to see again is for the lady to kiss him. Insult upon injury. The young man, which is the fiancé, got angry and started attacking this blind man. They hold him. Say, ah, brother, if it's only kissing that will make this your fiancé see again, why not allow her to kiss this young man so that she can see again? Out of reluctantly, the young man said, okay, no problem. He allowed a fiancé to kiss this young man. Immediately, both of them disappeared at the spot. Confusion everywhere. Everybody was confused. Suddenly, thank God for a man of God who was passing by, who saw the situation and asked what is happening. They explained to him the young one couldn't even explain properly because of his tent. The man of God who God have already opened his eyes spiritually to understand what is going on. He laughed. <laughs> and started praying. Making some strange declarations. Calling upon the God of heaven. Making some strange declarations. Calling upon the God of heaven. And suddenly, both of them, both of them, both of them, the blind man and the lady appear back again. Wow, glory be to God. Although the fiancé was happy, they were happy. Before the man of God revealed that this blind man you guys identify as a blind man is not blind, he can see. They open his eyes and discover that truly he is not blind. They started beating him to confess. The young man pleaded for his life and he started confessing. He said he was carried away by the way people were throwing money at Obi Kubana mother's barrier. For that reason, he decided to join a group who would trick him, telling him that the only way he can belong to that class is for him to bring people through disappearance to their kingdom for ritual. The young man gets angry again, they started beating him. But thank God for the man of God who now told them to stop beating him. Instead of so, they should take this young man to the police station, which they did. What does this story tell you? This story tells you that life is patient. Life is turn by turn. Those guys you saw, Kubana group, you saw throwing money up and down. They did not start 
from nowhere. They started from somewhere. They are patient life. Listen, if no blood money can give you such kind of money, don't be deceived, the youth of today, because of what you saw. Don't be carried away. Patience, wait. As 10 years, 20 years ago, those guys never believed that we'd be where they are today. Now, today, they are celebrating the unknown yesterday, which are manifest today. So, be patient. Wait for your time. Today is like this. You don't know what tomorrow will give to you. Be patient. This is the message I have for you, the youth of today. Stay blessed.